I was just uh, pouring drinks for a really long time. So you don't really pay attention to details. You pretty much just doing the same moves, shaking, pouring, some sort of entertainment. And then guests uh, filmed me uh, just uh, making cocktails for them. But when they showed to me footage, I was just a little disappointed. Actually, uh, I didn't look that impressive as I thought I looked at that time. And I'm not even talking about when you do just a uh, bar trick. So for example, when I was doing shake, I was looking to way too serious and I had no smile. So I decided to smiling more and you could see right away that it was like a big improvement. And the same when I was doing pours. I, for example, uh, I was standing and my back wasn't so straight. So I decided to make some slight improvement there too. Also, when I was stirring drinks, I didn't think that that position was right. That's also when I realized that uh, if you add a little extra movements, for example, when you do tricks with bar spoon. So when I started filming myself, it really helped me to improve all these details. Same thing when I teach students at the school, like a lot of them just so eager to learn more and more moves and they don't really pay attention to these small details. So just this simple half spin, for example, I do it like this and my hand is like all the way here. This is uh, where I hold it. Like students at the beginning, they just pretty much hold it only here. So you see I pick up bottle from well left to right, change the grip, go around the glass, open and then pour. So if you want to look more professional, I think it's really important to film yourself just once in a while. And also some moves actually, they just look so much better if you simply change the side. For example, I was doing this uh, roll when I take shaker from the bar and then I was doing a little roll and then start pouring. Just change the side and started rolling this way and I realized that it just looked much more impressive. And since then, I started rolling only this way and it comes to a lot of moves. It's not just this roll. So you simply can just adjust sides and it will make you look much much better. So as I mentioned to you guys you always can ask someone to uh, get an opinion of how the move looks or how the pool looks and I also try to practice next to the mirror but it is also not so practical. And the best thing is just simply to use the camera that you have on your cell phone. You can place it somewhere or just uh, put it on a tripod and film yourself. You don't have to do it all the time but it's just nice to check and see if you are doing moves correctly. If you if you like the way you shake, maybe you can just do moves a little bit wider, a little bit bigger to, to, to make a better impression. So when you film yourself, it's definitely great to see your own mistakes and correct them. But also if you like the footage, if you like the way how you did it, you simply can just post it in your social media and possibly be viewed by so many people who also can give your opinion on your on your moves and on your routine. It's internet. They actually some of our students they they share it on social media how they practice at the live bar and they were offered a job interview before they even finish the school. So there's just so many reasons why you guys should be filming yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and don't forget, you're gonna look so much better on your video if you subscribe to this channel. So I'll see you guys next time.